Hey, welcome to the pub. Come on, grab a seat. Do you want to pet some dogs? Well, let's learn how to play Hair of the Dog, the new game by Cherry Pick Games. It's all about going to the dog bar with your friends and competing to pet the most dogs. Hair of the Dog is a board game for two to eight players. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play, and it's lightweight enough that you can take it to the bar, but difficult enough to engage your designated driver. To set up, lay out the bar tiles first. We have a four player game, so we're getting a small, cozy neighborhood joint. Each player gets a player pawn, a mat, a full drink, and a fetch quest. Fetch quest is a secret objective that gives you more points. Have every player pick two dogs for the doggy gets list. Each dog is represented by three pet cards, representing the different ways you can pet that dog. Fill the bar with dogs, players, and wait staff, and let's get going. Your goal is to pet as many different dogs as possible. You get bonus points if you can complete a set of each of the three pet types. Now, Hair of the Dog is a for-profit company. We expect our customers to actually buy drinks if we catch you with an empty drink, our wait staff will passive aggressively shame you and you will lose points. When it's your turn, you get to take actions, toast your fellow players, move the wait staff, and then if any dog left, you get to welcome a new one to the bar. Now every action takes one sip. You can use as many sips as, on your turn as you want, but you do run the risk of running dry. Actions you can take include moving. You can move to any square in the bar. Back in, you can ask the wait staff or a dog to move one tile closer to you. You can take a toy or a treat. Some dogs need those to get pet. And you can pet a dog. Petting a dog is, takes your entire attention, so that's the end of your turn. When you pet a dog, take the top pet card. After that, the dog gets a little less social and needs special attention to be pet by anyone else. Add a pet special request token to it, and then anyone else will have to meet that condition before they can pet the dog. And after the second pet, the dog gets a little bit more finicky. And if you get that coveted third pet, the dog's ready to go home with their owner in tow. To find out what a dog needs to be pet, you can either use trial or error, or you can ask your frenemies how to pet that dog. When you're in the same tile as another player, you can trade information, toys, treats, or special favors. If you agree to the trade, it's free. Otherwise, you have to spend a sip to force that trade. The other player can spend a sip to block it, and then you can go back and forth until either you're out of drink or you cause a scene. Once you're done taking actions, you can toast a friend and decide how many sips you're both gonna take. After the toast, the server gets to move. You move the server one space any direction, and if they catch someone without a drink, they shame that player. A player loses points and gets immediately sent back to the bar to wait in line. Any player at the bar at the start of their turn gets a refill. The game ends when there's an open table, but there's no dogs left in the doggy guest list. The winner is whoever pet the most dogs and gets the most points from their fetch quests. The real winner is all the dogs we pet along the way.